My brother proposed to my fiancé, his ex, and I'm pissed. My 28M brother, Mark, 26M, used to date my fiancé, Jen, 26F, a year ago. For context, they dated back in August 2022. They were only together for a month before he broke things off with her because he was bored of being in a relationship and never really wanted to settle down anyway. At the time they were dating, I was in a different state, so I had no idea he even had a girlfriend. And I had no idea who Jen was until I met her. Jen and I met at a bar when I moved back in October and hit it off really well. She was easily the most beautiful and intelligent woman I ever met, and we met up a few times more before we made it official. Fast forward to December, and I finally bring her up to my family and propose them meeting her at Christmas. They knew I was in a relationship, but I'm not the most open about my personal life, so I kept details about her to a minimum until I knew how serious we really were. My parents asked to see pictures and they started passing my phone around the dinner table. Mark saw it and blew up calling me a shit brother for dating his ex-girlfriend, and he demanded I break it off with her. I refused. When I asked Jen about it, she confirmed they dated and gave me the details about their breakup. It took a few weeks, but eventually Mark stopped bringing up me dating his ex and I thought he was over it. On Jen's birthday this year, I took her out to a fancy dinner with both of our families and her closest friends, and I asked her to marry me. Mark flipped once again and blew up about me proposing to her, which I and my sisters immediately shut down. The incident happened this past weekend. Mark had been pretty quiet about the whole thing for the last two months. I didn't see him much and figured he went low contact with me, which I had no problem with. Then he invited me and Jen for family dinner at his apartment with my parents and sisters. I thought it was weird, but my parents and sisters were also going, so we agreed to go. The dinner was nice, nothing too fancy, and we moved to the living room to talk. About 30 minutes into normal conversation, Mark stood up and told us he had an announcement. He made a long speech about being happy to have his family around for his big moment, then got on one knee and pulled out this cheap ring while asking Jen to marry him. Jen was confused and obviously uncomfortable and demanded that he put it away and stand up. My dad tried to make a grab for Mark, but I got to him first and punched him. I won't repeat most of it, mostly because I was too angry to even listen most of it. But he said something along the lines of wanting to show me that Jen wasn't really into me and just wanted to get back at him. Before it could get worse, my parents rushed me out and promised to talk to him. It's been a few days since it happened and I'm still pissed off. I don't know what to do at this point. I'm scared Jen might have second thoughts marrying me because of this. Any advice? Edit. First, thanks for reading and responding. I've been reading the comments between last night and this morning and valid points were made. There isn't an update since the only people I've spoken to since that dinner is Jen and my little sister. I want to clarify a few things that I saw in the comments Jen and I are newly engaged. It was one of those feelings where we both knew we were in it for the long run. As fast as it is, I'm sure about her. When we met, I was the one who approached her, not the other way around. Whether she knew or had suspicions of us being related, I don't know. I asked after finding out they dated and she says she had no idea. I didn't have a reason to doubt that, but I can admit this, seemingly overreaction on Mark's part, does raise red flags I had no idea she and Mark dated when I met her. Mark and I aren't close at all. We used to be. But as we grew up, we drifted and talked less and less. Before I moved back, we didn't really speak much aside from special days like his or my birthday. Jen knew of my family, but not much until I decided I was ready to introduce them to her. When she and Mark met, again, I didn't get a sense of any residual feelings on either part. She didn't treat him like a stranger, but she also wasn't overly affectionate with him either. I was told this was a relationship that lasted a month. I didn't think I needed permission from Mark to ask her to marry me, but maybe that was wrong of me. I'm not sure that being said, I plan to talk to Mark this weekend to lay everything out on the table and figure out what's up. I never asked for his side of their relationship which is my fault for not doing my due diligence. If anything major or enlightening happens, I'll update. But for now, that's all I have. Update 2. I couldn't post this to the same forum, so I'm posting this directly to my profile in case anyone is interested in an update. It's been a while since I've posted, but a few things have happened since my last talk with Mark. So I've been low contact with Mark since our last conversation. I haven't called him, 
and he hasn't called me, and our only interactions have been in family settings. As it stands, my mom is now upset that Mark is still uninvited from my wedding. It started with a comment made during my younger sister Sophie, 22F's birthday. Her boyfriend of, I think, four years proposed to her at the end of the night, and we sat around talking about what she envisioned for her dream wedding. She talked a bit about wanting a destination wedding and her ideas for the cake and dress. Then she said something along the lines of, Teddy, I know Mark's banned from your wedding, but you won't care if he comes to mine, right? I laughed it off and told her I can't get mad about her guest list even if I wanted to. My mom gave me this weird look and asked if Mark was still not invited to my wedding. I told her yes, and she got irritated. She told me she thought I was joking and said I was being unreasonable to go through with banning him from the wedding since he's family. She accused me of holding a grudge just to be petty. I reminded her that he and I agreed on him not coming. I then told her that this wasn't the time to talk about my wedding since the day was about Sophie, and if Mark or her want to talk about my wedding, they can call me another time. Sophie laid into my mom a bit about trying to make her special day about Mark, and my mom dropped the issue. For those of you who might be wondering, Mark wasn't at Sophie's party because he apparently had to work and couldn't make it. A few days later, my mom stopped by my house and said she wanted to discuss my wedding. She asked me why I was so adamant about Mark not coming to my wedding. She said that I shouldn't be so insecure about Mark and Jen's previous relationship and that uninviting him was a step too far. I told her that Mark and I mutually agreed on him not coming to the wedding and he can come to me about it himself if he has a problem with it. We got into an argument and she said that if I wasn't going to re-invite Mark, then she would not be coming either because I'm ostracizing her son. I shrugged and told her if that's what she wants, then she can toss her invite in the trash because I won't beg her to be there. She asked me if I would really be okay with her not attending, and I told her it wouldn't be the first time she missed an event of mine because of Mark. She said I was being an A.H. for throwing her past mistakes in her face, and she stormed out. I then started getting messages and phone calls from her and a few family members about the whole situation, saying I was in the wrong and urging me to invite Mark just to keep the peace. Jen's also been getting messages from my mom asking her to talk to me and get me to change my mind, but to my knowledge, she hasn't been responding. So far, most of my mom's side of the family are standing in solidarity with her and not attending while my dad and his side of the family, which is only my aunt and uncle and their two kids, agree with me and are still coming. My sisters are also still coming to the wedding, and of course, Jen's family too. Also, I talked to Mark about it and asked him if he had a problem with not having an invite. He said he uninvited himself in the first place, and he doesn't get why they're making a big deal because he still doesn't want to go. He told me to leave him out of the fighting because he's not involved, and he says he'd tell her the same. As of now, I'm back to being low contact with my mom, but my dad and I are still on decent terms. I'm still deciding on whether I'll re-invite my mom and her family, should they change their mind about the boycott. But the chances are low, and I told my dad this too, which he understands. For now, Jen and I started looking into downsizing the venue since the guest list is significantly smaller. Update 3. My mom is uninvited from the wedding indefinitely. About two weeks after she decided to not come to the wedding, she came stopped by and said she wanted to clear the air and talk about everything. We agreed and invited her in to join us for dinner. Jen made her a plate of food, and I asked her if she was still planning on not coming to the wedding. She said that while she wants to, she can't get over me not inviting Mark because of a simple mistake. I reminded her that his simple mistake was proposing to my fiancé with me sitting less than three feet away from him, and she said it was just a joke. Jen asked her why she wanted to talk if she was maintaining the same stance on Mark coming to the wedding. She said she wanted to talk to Jen, and she was hoping Jen would hear her out and talk me into inviting Mark again. She apparently assumed I was at work, and she'd be able to catch her alone. Jen politely told her that she understood her thought process, but she wouldn't have had that conversation anyway without me present since this is about my brother. My mom made a comment somewhere in the lines of Jen being spineless and unable to have a conversation without me thinking for her, which started a pretty heated back and forth between the three of us before Jen told her to get out. She got up and started walking towards the door, and my mom followed her still screaming at her. By this point, she's yelling about her tearing our family apart. While Jen was unlocking the front door, my mom grabbed her hair and pulled her to the ground, still screaming. 
She hit her and tried to claw her face and I dragged her off of her and threw her outside. She banged on the door for a few minutes while I made sure Jen was okay before she left and called the both of us repeatedly. When I was sure Jen was okay, I texted my mom and told her not to bother reaching out again because we'll never speak to her again. I called my dad and sisters and told them what happened too. My dad was surprised and tried to make excuses, saying she'd been stressed about this whole situation for a while. My sisters say they knew she'd snap eventually since she's always been a crazy B word, and they said they'd come make sure Jen is okay. I asked Jen if she wanted to press charges, but she declined and said she only wanted to cut contact with her for good. I told that part was obvious, but she should still talk to the police since she was physically assaulted, but she doesn't want my mom to get arrested. My sisters and Jen's mom came by to comfort her, thankfully, so she's doing okay. My mom is blocked on everything until Jen says otherwise. I genuinely don't know what to do now. Jen doesn't want to go to the police because she'd feel guilty having her arrested over this, but my sisters and I want to convince her to, and I'd at least want documentation in case something happens in the future.